So thank you, JLL, for joining us. Um, how is everyone doing? Um, I hope everyone is well and safe. Everyone's coping up well with, the wor with working from home. So we are delighted to have you here and listen to our broker's presentation. So I'm going to be with Valentina. So we're going to host the entire, um, entire presentation. But of course, there are segments we're in. We're going to entertain questions from you guys. So before we start the presentation, um, we can start with the poll to hear some feedback from you guys. Okay, so do you know? Do you guys know how to answer answer Paul in Zoom? I just learned it a few days ago. <laughs> so first question: From which industries are you seeing the most demand as of current? Is it e-commerce, healthcare, digital, or online media, fintech, or BPO? You just have to click your answer, and I think you have thirty seconds to answer. Valentina, I think you can also answer. <laughs> yes, if you yes, you, you, you can. <laughs> and then number two, what are your clients' biggest concerns about returning to or finding a new workspace? Is it um, social distancing? Are they scared? Are they promote um, prioritizing their health and well-being? Are they more concerned of being business as usual? Or my clients are not returning to work? And question number three, what is your prediction in the demand for service offices? So will there be an increase given our current situation, a decrease or no change? It's just the same. And then you can press submit once you're done. And then I think we'll just wait for the results. Yes, we should be able to see. Oh, there. Okay, so let's see. 46% is e-commerce. Okay. Yeah. And then followed by BPO. Followed by BPO, yeah. And digital online media. Healthcare, zero. Wow. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, because they're concerned about their health. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty weird, though, no? That healthcare. The health and well-being is the highest for number two. Question number two. Okay, so no one answered my clients are not returning to work. So meaning all, most of your clients or all of your clients are returning to work. That's good. What is your prediction and demand? Wow. So a close battle now between increase and decrease. We can talk about more of these later on. So, okay. Thank you for your answers. Yeah, this is very useful for us. Thank you, guys. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, I'm sure everyone has seen this slide before, or most of you. Um, I just want to keep everyone updated that KMC remains to be the number one flexible office workspace provider in Southeast Asia. So with over 72,000 72, square meters of total footprint, um, we are now at 16,500 workstations across 26 office locations. So that includes a Metro Manila and our provincial sites with 55 managed co Managed workspaces. Okay, next slide. So just very quickly, you know, a run through of our workspace offerings. I'm sure everyone is familiar that we have our plug and play offices that offer fully functional workspaces. So these are our private offices. We also have co-working space. Some of you may not know, but we are also offering virtual offices. And of course, um, function spaces. For the enterprise vertical, we are offering customized, custom-built offices. So this is more on more of an OPEX model. Um, and of course, very timely, we're also offering business continuity plans or disaster recovery. Next slide, please. 
Yeah, so it's business as usual for KMC. So even during the ECQ period, no, um, we just wanted everyone to know that all our sites are still operational. So some of our tenants are still going to work. We have our Wi-Fi, um, I mean, um, internet connectivity is there, air conditioning, et cetera, everything admin and IT support. We have all those ongoing. So we continue to deliver a promise and, harp and harping on one of the things that we do best, which is IT infrastructure. So I'm sure most of you know this already. Um, this is just a reminder. <laughs> and of course, in addition to that, we have additional benefits. So by being part of the KMC community, we have our Mad Max Coffee, um, health and wellness programs, and we also have KMC Passport that allows us access across all our workspaces. And yes, more, more activities, more programs from KMC. Okay, so enough with a quick run about KMC. I just, um, let me first hand you over to Valentina, who shall present the steps that KMC has been taking to ensure that we come back um, with a safe and healthy working environment. So yeah. the floor is yours, Val. Thank you, Ted. Um, hi, guys, again. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, so you confirmed earlier with uh, doing the poll that one of the most, uh, the main concern of your clients is, of course, the um, health uh, re uh, by returning to the office. So we just want to make sure that everybody knows that KMC is taking like very seriously uh, this situation and our uh, main concern right now, our priority is really to make sure that our clients are safe going back to the office. That's why we are taking proactive measures. Um, so besides the usual, uh, you know, no face, no mask or wash your hands very often, etc. We are also going like beyond that to make sure that all our facilities will be safe for the employees of our tenants. So first of all, in, uh, we are implementing some uh, touchless access. Uh, is already implemented in some of our facilities here in BGC, but moving forward will be done in all the facilities of KMC, included the new sites that we are gonna show you later. So as all of you know, um, we have the biometric uh, finger access in all the facilities and moving forward is going to be replaced with uh, access card so we don't have to you know our finger they don't have to touch the surface all the time that's one of the measures that we are taking um, and then social distancing very 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 important so all our floor plans will be implemented by these uh, new measures. So as you can see in the small picture, uh, we are going to make sure that all the employees and all the tenants, all the people in the, in the facilities will be taking a uh, one meter distance between each other, not only in the production areas, in, uh, on the, you know, in the production areas rooms, but also in the common areas. So pantry, uh, all the boardroom and meeting room. And of course, as of now, uh, we are encouraging our tenants to make sure they don't gather in group, even after the lockdown, if they can like having a conference call instead of instead of meeting like face to face, they are like, I mean, we are encouraging still uh, them to do that. Um, however, all these measures of social distancing will be implemented in all the spaces, in all the areas in our facilities. There will be an increase of uh, disinfection and sanitation in, uh, in all the facilities as well. So we are gonna have more stations with, uh, with the hand sanitation. Um, this will be done, there will be one of course in uh, the reception area, so all the entrance uh, of, um, of the facilities. Uh, there will be a lot of stations in the, in the pantry area. Uh, regarding the pantry, uh, since is one of the is one of the space where the employees gather the most, uh, we encourage our employees and our clients' employees to uh, bring their own utensil from home and their own food. They won't be concessioner for a while. However, all of the clients, all of the employees, will be more than welcome to um, have their food delivered by their 
um, preferred uh, service provider. And another important thing is that in case, hopefully it's not gonna happen, but just in case there should be a case of COVID-19 in one of our facilities, in within 24 hours, we are gonna make sure that the, the space will be um, evacuated by the, by the employees and we are going to make sure that it's going to be sanitized at a very high level so it can be operational again after 24 hours and then i will show you later there is another slide where uh, basically we are increasing the cleaning schedule uh, and i'll show you later so you can see uh, another important thing that we are really uh, encouraging the, the tenants to do, because this has to be like a very collaborative effort. Uh, so just in case, I mean, now I, I know it's very challenging, it's almost impossible to travel, but just in case some of our uh, tenants or members have to travel abroad, we're really encouraging them to put themselves in quarantine for 14 days. This is something that I did myself. I don't know if you know guys, but I'm Italian and uh, I went home uh, a couple of months in February. And um, when I get back from, uh, from the country, I put myself in quarantine for 14 days. Um, and of course we uh, encourage everybody to seek medical attention in case there is, uh, you know, if they have like coughing or if they don't feel well, it's better for them and for everybody uh, to stay at home and to seek medical attention. And uh, of course, in the office, when um, there will be that, like that when, when everybody will go back to the office, of course, we encourage everybody to, uh, you know, to make sure that they will practice all the common uh, rules, uh, like wash your hands and, you know, mask, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in case you have, this is the, yes, this is the frequency uh, cleaning uh, that we are implementing. So basically in all the areas, there will be, as you can see, um, twice a day in the common areas, there will be like cleaning, especially of the touch surfaces. And then meeting rooms, uh, once a day, or uh, cleaning and co-working space, office space, and frequently touch surfaces will be cleaned uh, every after shift or every 30 minutes. So just in case your clients are concerning about, uh, you know, safety, please let them know that KMC is really like doing their best to make sure that everybody's safe. Uh, if you guys have any any comment or any feedback or that or any suggestion that you want to to give us to make this better, uh, let us know. It's, very very well this is a very unique situation for everybody so we just want to make sure that we are collaborative to make sure that everybody is uh is safe and more than happy to go back to the office now i if there is not any comment um i will uh end over this to Therese because we are implementing also new services um and so Therese, this is uh, your part go all right, thank you, Valentina. So yeah, that's impressive. Um, I think um, we really need to make sure that we look after the the well-being of our members, no? Of course, to build more confidence coming back to work, even for ourselves. Um, so like what Valentina has mentioned, while we have these measures set already, these are already in place, um, JLL being our partner, um, we are open to your suggestions. So later, we can discuss more of that. It will be great to hear some feedback from you guys or probably share other practices, other best practices of, um, of your clients or maybe of JLL. Um, so yes. So how has it been working from home the past weeks? We all know that there are a lot of challenges working remotely. Um, we have sometimes we encounter poor or unstable internet connectivity which limits our team's ability to be as responsive as compared to when we are working in an office space environment. So aside from that, we may also look into security and privacy issues. What else? So these are just some things that hinder businesses to operate as efficiently in a work from home setting. So as KMC continues to evolve with the ever-changing needs of the office industry, especially during this time, uh, we want to present our newest offering, which is CASA by KMC. So CASA is our um, new product. It is a blended work-from-home solution. 
So meaning, um, you have a setup at home, but you are you also have access across our different KMC sites. This solution offers the same sophisticated IT technology that we are using. Um, as I've mentioned, demand access to different KMC spaces, um, software um, provision, etc. So yes, so there, these are the inclusions. So for hardware and furniture, oops, I did something, sorry. So for hardware and furniture, um, we offer desk, ergonomic chair, laptop and docking station, and other equipment um, required such as monitors. Sometimes they require two dual monitors, other hardwares, um, headphones, yes, etc. For software, um, we can also provide the following, but of course not limited to fiber optic internet, um, screen check and time usage, productivity tools, no? um, software, um, payroll software, device recovery, and of course, Zoom license. Next page, please. So there, as I've mentioned, this is a blended approach. So it's not a purely work from home setup. Uh, we, can, we can provide you access to different KMC co-working space locations in Metro Manila and provincial sites. And we also offer um, KMC amenities such as meeting room, training rooms, etc. Okay. All right. I think it's time for Paul again. Are you guys ready? It's so weird talking to nobody. <laughs> but here, so what is your client's expected return strategy? Again, you have 30 seconds and you just click on your answer. So is it team A, team B? Um, only skeletal workforce, suspending operations, or only a percentage will be working on site and a percentage will be working from home. I think we should wait for the prompt screen. No? Did it appear to you, Val? Not yet? Yeah. It already appeared? The, question, the, the one where you can answer? No, no, no. no. Okay. Let's wait for Zoom. Why is it taking so? It's there? Okay, it's not, it's not. Yeah, it's there. Can you see it, Therese? No. Why not? It's there. You can see it? Yeah, I can see it. So we just have to wait for the answers. Oh, they voted already. Okay. Yeah, but can we, we can see the results. results? Okay. Next question. Okay, how many of your clients are looking into shifting to a work from home setup? Like a permanent work from home setup? Very few, less than 10%, or half of them, or almost all of them. There we go. We have the result now. Can you see it, Therese? No. Okay. Can you? Yeah, so 50% of them answered that. So what's your client expected return strategy? 50% they are planning to uh, switch, uh, to uh, shift team A and team, team A, team B. And then 29%, which is pretty high, of employees will keep working from home. And then for the second questions, how many of our clients are looking to shift into work from home setup? 50%, around 50%, it, I mean, 71% of them answered around 50%. Permanently, so, so majority are planning to work permanently at home. Yeah. Mm, interesting. It's a pretty high, yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys. All right, I think um, um, this begins our question and answer for our new... Oh, there's another surprise question. Okay. Yeah. Which countries are you experiencing an increased demand from... Uh, yeah. There. Is there like a specific country where you guys see uh, like an increased demand of uh, serviced office or... Requirement. Yeah, requirement. I think you can uh, you can uh, send your uh, your answers in the chat group.
No? Yes. You might say China. Well, it would make sense, no? US. 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 Mm, okay. And what about Europe, guys? Do you see an increase of um, demand from Europe? Because of this? See China. <laughs> no. Yes. You are? Yes, again, see Patty. Okay. Okay. All right. Good to know. Maybe we can start our question and answer portion now. So yeah. we will be discussing the seat availability later on, also our upcoming sites plus our incentive program for brokers. But let's have a stop. So I'm, I'm sure some of you have questions about the new uh, measures and the new products that we are going to implement. So um, yeah, so just raise your hand and um, we will unmute you so you, so we can, you can speak. No questions. I know. I, Rach, you can't raise your hand, but I can hear your voice. Rachel, how will you cope with companies that require seats to be one, two meters apart? Can the workstation be arranged accordingly? Okay. Yeah, this is something that we are implementing now. Uh, this is like, as I said, this is a very unique situation for everybody and for us as well. So yes, we are working on um, on uh, on this kind of layout to make sure that our employees can can keep like one meters. However, most of our workstations are uh, 1.2 meters already, so there is enough space between the employees. Uh, but for sure, we are uh, we are implementing new strategy, uh, and we will get back to you guys soon as soon as ever everything is finalized. And so, by the way, Rachel, sorry, since you, you sent that question, did you have, uh, did you experience like any, did you have any conversation with some clients asking for this kind of questions? I mean, is that something that they are uh, concerning about? Wait, I'm bad, sorry. Can we speak to her so it's easier? I Maybe we can unmute. Yeah, Rachel, there you go. Are you Hello? alone? Hi, Rich. Okay. Yeah, it's so long to type that. Yeah, um, hi. <laughs> for yeah, actually, uh, we have a question. Well, this is uh, an actual requirement. And um, so, because usually even if we have, say, a 1.2 meter table, the challenge is um, it still won't be compliant because if they have to be right beside each other, density-wise, it's still going to be too dense. So if they wanted to put, say, 50 people in a 50-seater office, it won't work out, but they will be required to take more space. So um, the question is, how are we able to space out the workstations more, what, what do you call this, with bigger space in between than the current setup? Rich, thank you for your feedback. So actually, this is an ongoing discussion, not to be honest. Um, we've been discussing it, of course, with our mental and exocom teams. Um, the latest one was what Valentina mentioned. No? So 1.2 and 1.2 is enough. There's an enough clearance of one meter in between. But this, this um, webinar is actually also a tool for us to be able to hear from your side. Like, the, like this feedback. So we can also give the feedback to our bosses. So it is good to hear that from you. Um, so inside the production space, inside the, the office of the company, um, that's what we're looking at. But if your client wish to um, arrange in a manner where there are more um, seats in between, of course, that's your, that's your client's discretion. For the common areas outside, we are controlling that. So, for example, for the pantry, the square tables only have one chair. For the lounge areas, we already put markers and like a flow guide 
that this side will only be going to going there. there it's not a two-way traffic so only one way something like that so in short we are controlling the common areas yes. but the production rooms will be up to the clients because as far as compliance is concerned we are one meter compliant to the to the requirement in terms okay. of billing is that sorry is that your next question yes yeah that's the next question yeah next in step. terms of billing um, we are actually looking at billing not on a per seat basis but per room basis so we will be computing it of course we will be computing it basing on the rate per seat but um, we will be very flexible we will be open in giving discount on the total room rate so for example this is just an example uh, for example um we only bill 80 percent of the room rate on the first month first and first two months and then on the third month we build the 90 percent of the room rate come the sixth month we build a hundred percent so it's going to be a phase take up so that the net effective value will be lower at the same time now we help you guys we help your clients um, be more cost effective but again yeah that's just an example we will treat it case to case yeah. um, of course depending on the requirements their long their their duration of lease the number of seats etc okay thanks Steph. okay thank you. i hope i was able to clear to answer but wait sorry i have a question so You've mentioned that it's not enough now because people will be moving right and left, so the clearance will not be enough. Um, is this a direct question from your client or from you guys lang? Like um, this one is from a client. We're actually working with uh, Val, Val um, for on a requirement. And yes, and one of the questions is. Uh, because their, their standard is not just one meter as a company, it's actually two meters apart. So we're trying to figure out how, how the, the assigned office space will work for them. And it's a work in progress, basically. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to hear if there's any new developments as far as how we will be, I mean, the company will be built. That's mm -hmm. one in terms of the capacity that they can use the space. Because if ever they have to stick with that um, number of seats, for example. They just have to space out more sparsely and send yeah. people work to work from home. So um, it's just basically that that consideration. But Amazon is long-term, diba? It's a long-term client. Um, possibly, yes. One okay. year. Not really okay. long, long-term, but... Yeah. Long, but long not enough. swing space. Not, not really no, months. It's, okay. a, it's actually a swing space for a year. <laughs> mm, okay. So, yeah. I think you can also consider uh, Va Valentina because Valeria works for Valentina. So, yeah. maybe you can also consider a blended approach for CASA. Right? Yeah, that's for, what I was saying. Maybe, so for this kind of clients, the, now, I don't know Amazon specifically because I'm sure that they have a very strict compliance in terms of security. Uh, but for any clients who are looking for this kind of, uh, you know, this kind of service, this kind of uh, approach, maybe a blended service like Casa, KMC Casa, for example, can really help. So they can have like a, a team in the office and some of the employees can work from home. So, you know, they, they have like social distancing measures and, and everything else. Um, yeah, so we, for sure we, we will find, it's a case by case, as Terry said, so we will really um, make sure that we find the best solution for all of them. So just keep them coming and we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can take it offline. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Any other questions, guys? No? Okay. So I think we can move on with the next slide, please. There you go. Okay, so I know I, I know most of you, I'm sure you've worked with um, some of us. 
um, but um, I just wanted to properly and to properly introduce the team to make sure that we endorse to the right people. But of course, if you want to endorse through myself or through Valentina, um, that should be okay. We'll just direct you to the right person. Um, so for service offices, we are categorized in different areas. So like for myself, I'm taking care of all Makati sites, BGC, specifically Aura and Ore and Quezon City. Drea is taking care of Alabang and the rest of BGC. Rose is taking care of all Ortiga sites and Sheridan. Cha, Karisma, Vicuña is taking care of UB, Union Bank and Clark. While our GM for Cebu, Lana, is taking care, of course, of Skyrise. Um, Casey Gamboa, of course, I'm sure some of you or most of you know her. She takes care of the custom built or enterprise um, requirements. Okay. So, let's proceed to the seat availability. I'm sure everyone receives no? um, receives a weekly updated deck. So, if you don't, just let me know so that we can include you in the distro list. This, be, this is going to be very quick. So, for BGC, we have seven sites including Sun Life, which is fully leased as of the moment. We have... Uh, um, I, it is reflected in these slides, the projected... Um, seats that will be available from immediate up to six months. So from SM, for SMR, we have 194 seats. Sigma, 238 seats. Aura Central, 65 seats. And Forneo with 58 seats. Piccadilly with 169 and Uptown with 212. For Makati, um, B Corp, we have 169 um, yes, B Corp is PESA. Rofino, we have 134 seats. And of course, Frabel is fully leased. Okay, so this is just a featured listing. I think um, I've toured some of you already in this um, quadrant. So this is a 50-seater dedicated suite, around 200 square meters located in Rofino Tower. So it's a quadrant of a floor. Um, this is perfect for companies who would like to have their own dedicated space, exclusive space with no other tenants, but at the same time, it's plug and play. So it's already ready. Um, it has its own reception. You can put your own reception desk, like a small lounge. It has internal offices that can be converted into meeting rooms or retain as production space. It also has its own server and its own pantry. Okay, next. For Ortigas, um, of course, we have Gamma across five floors with 620 seat, 21 seats. Our newly refreshed Union Bank Plaza with 255 and um, Rockwell Business Center, Towers 3 and 1. Next, please. Our, fe our featured site in um, Ortigas in Gamma, so we have five floors, but one floor will be fully vacated and will be available by June. Um, this can accommodate roughly around 300 seats with its own um, amenities. So you have your own meeting rooms, boardroom, phone booths, uh, floor plate of 1,500 square meters. So again, for clients who would like to have their own space, own reception, own entrance, we can um, um, offer that one. And like what I've mentioned, we have our fully refreshed um, Union Bank office, amazing views. Um, we just finished construction before the lockdown. Um, There's about 230 square meters, can accommodate 81 seats. Again, it has its own reception. Um, you can put your own um, lounge area, etc. Of course, um, everybody knows one Griffin Stone in Alabang. We will have around 181 seats available across two floors. So on the ninth floor, we have 39 seats available immediately. So those are the ones highlighted in green. And another 55 seats on the 10th floor. All right. And then, of course, Zeta in Quezon City, we have 247 seats. Mandaluyong Sheridan, 24 seats. But I think we're going to have around 100, more than 100 in the next few weeks and Clark with five seats. Of course, sorry, Cebu with more than 
300 Gs. Okay, so there you've seen um, you've seen our inventory. So we have a lot of inventory as of the moment. So if you have clients looking at um, um, serviced offices, let us know. But just in case you have clients, you have requirements that um, don't seem to fit the the listings that I've mentioned. Please don't hesitate hesitate to reach to reach out to me or to any one of us, and it will help you figure out something. Will help you find out find a solution for your client. So, I've already mentioned KMC Casa earlier, you know. So as we are trying to look at various approaches to accommodate the current requirements of the office industry at this um at this um current situation. So in addition to this, we are also promoting. A uh, hub and spoke uh, model wherein um, we distribute the headcount or the, the workforce of a company in different locations. So, KMC having the largest network of offices, we will be able to accommodate this. We can probably put um, employees in, diff in offices which are closer to their place of resident residence. This way, we are spreading the risk of having employees affected um, by, the, by the virus. So there's more security for the company. And I also believe that this is something that many other providers cannot offer because they don't have available um, inventory in all these areas. So for example, no, for it can be distributed in different CBDs like you can put some people in Ortigas, in Cebu, in BGC, or in Makati. And then in the next um, diagram, it can be across different locations. It can be across different sites in one location. Look in one location, for example, Gama, and then Union Bank, and then Sheridan. I think um, I've tried this approach with some of you guys here, um, but there's no feedback yet no, as of the moment. But this is something that we can promote and something that we can push for our clients. Okay, what's next? Next slide, please. Okay, so let before we have the question and answer portion for the seat availability, um, Valentina will be discussing first our upcoming sites. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, so, um, well, some of you knows Valerie probably and, uh, and myself. So we are going to handle the pre-leasing team. So meaning that we are going to make sure that we can um, uh, sell our uh, new sites. Uh, this year, uh, we are gonna have several facilities available. Um, by, okay, so the first one uh, will be awfully by end of June or maybe uh, probably now since the COVID situation is uh, probably the lockdown will be extended and that there are like new, um, new, new rules that have to be followed by the workers. So basically uh, we have Podium West Tower in Ortigas. We should be live by mid-July, so it's not June anymore. Um, so in Podium, which is uh, a no peso facility, uh, we are going to have more than 700, 700 workstations spread on two floors, uh, 26th and 27th. Um, the facility is uh, good actually for, so, for clients' uh, concern about social distancing because compared to the other facilities, the, um, the, um, the, the, the ratio is lower, so the density is lower. Um, and, um, and so this will be good for clients looking for office space in Ortigas. Uh, by August, we are going to go live with Armstrong uh, in Makati. So it says in the presentation that it's going to be 720 workstations. Actually, it's going to be more than 1,400 by end of this year. The reason why it's only 720 right now is because the first portion of the, of the building will be available by mid-August. And we are going to go live with four floors. Uh, which will be, um, each, of, each floor will be having around 200 seats. Uh, available. So, uh, good thing about Armstrong that I really want to highlight is that we 
we want to offer our clients more flexibility in terms of uh, in terms of layout so some of the floors will be dedicated as a service office so the typical setup and some of the floors will be instead dedicated for uh, for clients who wants to have their own dedicated floor so one floor one client and we can do some uh, personal customization in case they have like specific requirement with the um uh, with their office set, set up so again by august 15 four floors will be available and then by december the other floor the, the we have in total 13 floors in armstrong uh, seven floors will be service office and six floors will be parking slot so by uh, august 15 700 station will be available actually around 800 because it's 200 each floor and then by December uh, we are gonna have around 1400 workstations by December we will have available uh, WCP uh, so Rachel I know that you are very familiar with this building because of Amazon uh, so in WCP we are gonna have more than 830 workstations available and then another floor that we are gonna is gonna be available in the BGC by June is SMORA. So in SMORA we already have a floor on the 11th floor, and we are gonna go live with the new floor on the 27th. Uh, I mean 27th floor uh, with 250 workstations. Um, so in case you have clients, it is a very familiar facility for everybody. So if you have any clients, just let us know. Um, these are some of the renders for each facility. Uh, Podium looks very fancy. It's pretty cool. These are the final renders. Uh, the facility is a very, very premium facility. I don't know if, you're, if you guys are familiar with the location, but basically the, the office space is above a very premium, build, uh, premium mall. Uh, the podium mall and the shape of the of the of the facility is also like uh, particular so it's uh, it's very fancy it's pretty cool um next please okay this is armstrong uh with some email images some some pictures i mean some renders uh, also pretty cool. Ah, important also about Armstrong is that on the seventh floor, which will be basically the, the ground floor, uh, we are going to have a co-working space with some retail space and a cafeteria. Um, so this is uh, also like a pretty cool uh, thing about KMC. And the old building will be our. And then this is WCP with some renders also there. Next. And yes, and SMR, which I'm sure you guys are already familiar with the facility. All right. Now, if you have any questions about uh, seat availability or new sites, that's your that's the time. You can raise your hand. No question? No questions. They want to know the incentives program. <laughs> no All questions? Right. Sure. Okay. Just in case you're not able to ask us now, um, you have our contact details. So just feel free to reach out any one of us. Okay. So do we, let's proceed to the incentives. So this is applicable to any KMC sites. And of course, it's limited to the first year of the contract. So on top of the 10% referral fee, we're having another raffle. So one lucky broker will take home one iPad Pro. So all brokers are entitled to one raffle entry for every desk closed. And this promo is valid from May 4 to July 31. But wait, there's more. We have additional tiered incentives with the same duration. So if you're able to close seats between 20 to 49 seats, we're giving away any of the following. Um, the gift certificate worth 8,000 or AirPods with charging case 
or Bose SoundLink Color Bluetooth. For, oops, for seats between 50 to 99, 20,000 pesos worth of gift certificate. So you can already have your own gym, home gym, or an Apple iPad, or a Nintendo Switch, or a Smeg Coffee Maker. Okay, for seats 100 to 149, so um, gift certificate now at 40,000, or an Apple iPad Air, or a Breville Espresso Machine, or a, a treadmill, tracks running. And of course, for anything more than 150 seats, we have a gift certificate worth 60,000 pesos or an iPhone 11 Pro, or uh, an indoor bike, or a Nordic track treadmill. If you have any more suggestions, no, we are open to your suggestions, or if you want something else that's similar, just let us know. Okay? I think that concludes our presentation. Um, we want to thank everyone for your time, for joining us. And again, if you have more feedback, just feel free to reach out. If you have questions, let us know. Anything else, Val? Um, no, unless uh, they have any other questions, I'm, I'm good. You can uh, raise your hand, yeah. Yeah, one thing just, guys. Um, so regarding CASA, uh, KMC CASA, this is a very, we think that that's a very uh, impressive approach for those clients who are concerning about the social distancing users. So if you want to know more about it, please let us know because we can really work on some solutions for our clients uh, since we want to keep them in our office. Uh, we want to feel, we want them to feel like, you know, safe. Um, and I think that the, the, the CASA model can really work for this kind of client. I think we have a, uh, we have a question. Do you accept Pogo's clients? Mm -hmm. that's, that's a $1 million question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that? Um, before the ECQ, we don't. Um, I'm not saying that we do now, but we haven't had the chance, the chance to discuss that yet. Okay. We will let you know. Any other question, guys? Okay, so, well, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. And we hope to, you know. Close deals. Close deals together. So let us know in case you have any inquiry. Thank you very much. Please, please share the deck. Wait, so do you guys get our weekly deck? Rich? No deck weekly? Yes. Oh, sorry. We do. We do. Um, I mean the presentation that you showed oh, us. Oh, okay. Okay. This yeah. one. Okay. Yes. All right. Take well do. Thank you very Thanks. much. Oh, Shari is not in the mailing list. Okay. I'll include Shari. Okay. Noted. Shari. We thank you guys. Lunch now. Bye bye. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.